Welcome to the homework. This is Lesson 4, Grade 3, Module 2. Get your name on there first. And it says, we're, it says, record your homework start time on the clock in problem 6. So let's go ahead to problem 6. Okay, so here it is. Here's problem 6. On the, it's on the second page. It's the last one. Record your homework start time. I'm starting this at 6.54, which is almost 7 o'clock. So the hour hand is going to be short. It's going to be almost at the 7. And 54 is going to be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, that would be 55. 54 is one less than 55. So, uh, there, 54. And I'm going to write it down, 654. All right. And we'll record the, the finish time when we finish, or when I finish. And now your time is going to be different, right? Your time is not going to be 6.54. Maybe it's going to be close. I don't know what time you do your homework. But do write down, don't copy my time. Write your own time. Because it may take you longer to do your homework than it takes me to do this video. So, uh, or it might take you faster. So make sure you use your own time for this. All right, number one. Joy's mom begins walking at 4.12 p.m. She stops at 4.43 p.m. How many minutes does she walk? So this is the p.m.s, right? So we're in the same hour. Four and four. So we have to find the difference between 4.43 and 4.12. We can just subtract for that. 43 minus 12. equals and you could use the digits for this or you could do it vertically this is a really easy one to do with the vertical method because you don't have to regroup anything 3 minus 2 is 1 and 4 minus 1 is 3 just like that so you could have that And if you wanted to draw, if you drew a tape diagram, it would look like this. Stop. Stops at 43. And this would be, begins, would be 12. And what's the difference between 43 and 12? That's what you're trying to find here. How much longer is 43 than 12? It was 31. 31 minutes. Cassie finishes softball practice at 3.52 p.m. She finishes, finishes softball practice at 3.52. After practicing for 30 minutes. So we got to kind of turn on a time machine here and go back in time to figure out what time she started so we could draw a timeline here and you could have done this you could draw a timeline for the first problem too right and this is going to be 352 and so we'll start at three o'clock and go to four o'clock and we need what 10 20 30 40 50 and the last one will be 60 so this is 10 20 30 40 50 and these are the little halfway marks in between the fives 
you don't have to label all the fives. If you have room to do it, you can. But it can get pretty crowded um, underneath the number line if you label everything. So you want to get the tens in there. Make sure they're readable. I'm going to clean up mine a little bit so you can read them. That's a 10. So let's see. She finishes 352. So that's 50, 51, 52. I'll label that one 52. Then we'll call this F, their finish. And now we have to go back in time. So, so that's after she has practiced. So we want to go back to before she practiced to figure out when she started. So we have to go back in time to figure out when she started. 30 minutes we have to go back. So if we go back, that's 30 minutes. So that's three tens. 30 is three tens. So from 52, we'd go back to 42. And from 42, we'd go back to 32. And from 32, we'd go back to 22. Her practice started at what time? Not 22. 322. What time is it? It's 322 when she started. And you could have figured that out by subtracting also. If you subtracted 52 minus 30, you would have had 22. When you do the subtraction, though, be careful that you don't write it like this. Don't write it like 352 or 330 and then subtract like that because these are hours. And they don't, those aren't hundreds, they're hours. They're different. It takes 60 minutes to make an hour, not a hundred. So you can't, you know, you can't unbundle a hundred and get 10 minutes out of it. You have to, that's, you get 60 minutes for it. And it's just, uh, don't, so just don't do that. If you, you can subtract minutes, but just don't do the times like that. Just, so let me erase it and show you. There, so you can do that. But don't write the times in there and, and sub, try to subtract times of day vertically because it just doesn't, it doesn't work. Uh, Jordy builds a model. Oh, and let, let me just go back and look. Because if you did subtract the time of day, this is what you would get, right? These are both 352 and 352. And then you'd have 3 minus 3. You'd have 0, 22. And that's not a time of day. That's why it doesn't work. That's just one of the reasons why it doesn't work. So d don't write the times of day. You can subtract minutes to find minutes but don't so don't write the times like that there uh, Jordy builds a model from 914 to 947 how many minutes does Jordy spend building his model so we let's make a timeline And since he's, it's all between nine, it's nine fourteen and nine forty seven. It's all going to be between nine o'clock and ten o'clock. And we'll do ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. And label those. And then we'll make our little halfway marks for 5, 15, 25, 35, 45, and 55. I'm not going to label them just because it gets too crowded underneath the number line. But when we get close to the numbers we have to plot, we'll figure we have a start time and we have a finish time. So let's plot what we have. So we're going to start with a 914. This is 915. So we're going to have it's going to be in between the 10 and the 15 for 14, right? So it's to be 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So there's the, uh -huh. and we can start this. We can see that's S for when he starts and label it 9, 14. Then he finishes at 47, which is going to be 5, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. And there's the 50. 
So this is 45, 46, this is 47 right here. 2 after the 45, that's 9, 47. So we have to find out how much time is in between these. So at 9.14, if we go 1, that's 1 minute there. And we'll, well, let me label this F at the end here. All right. So there's 1 minute. So we have 1 plus, what do we have next? Uh, 5. Ten. There's another ten. Gets us to forty. And then forty to forty-seven is going to be seven. So we just have to add up all of these. The one, the five. This is ten minutes. This is ten minutes. And this was seven minutes more. Now maybe you did your jumps a little bit differently than I did. Maybe you did it. Uh, it's going to take you at least two or three to do this, don't just write it all in one and call it one jump and I just knew it and did it in your head. That's not how you did it. That's not how you really do things in your head. You count up 10 at a time or you get to the next 10 and then you count more. So here we have, we're going to add all this up. So this, I don't see an easy way to make 10 with the 7, the 5, and the 1. So we're just going to have to work with, that's a 6, right? 6 and 2 tens, that's 26, right? So we have 26 plus 7. I'll just write 26 plus 7 here. And if you're going to get to the next 10, 7 is a 4 and a 3. I don't know how you do it in your head, but that's how I do it. So we got a 30 and then 3 left over, so that's 33. Jordy built for 33 minutes. Kara finishes reading it. Finishes reading. Finishes. So that's going to be our end time. She reads for a total of 46. What time did she start? So we know the end. And we, we know when she finishes. And we know how long it takes. So we have to go back in time to figure out when she started. So we're looking at... 257, we're going oh, to mark our number line first. Zero minutes, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. The we'll label 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 50. And our halfway parts. These are the fives. She finishes at 257, so this is 55 here. 56, 57, 58, 59, and then that's 60. So 57 is going to be right here. That's when she finishes. That's 257. And I have to go back 46 minutes from that. So if we just go back 7, 46 minutes, and we have to go back, we're at 57, and we have to go back 46. So if you're going to do this backwards, we can go back the 40 first. That will probably be the easiest. So 57 minus 40, that's going to be... Uh, 17. Right about there somewhere, right? So this is 15. That's 16. 17, 18, 19. So that's 40 minutes. And that gets us to uh, 2. Oops. 217. And now we have to go back six more. One, two, three, four, five, 
So it's 11, 12, 13, 14, and there's our 15 right here, right? That's our 15. So we have to go back six more minutes, right? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's right here at 2.11, and that's what time she started. Jenna and her mom take the bus to the mall. The clocks below show when they leave their house and when they arrive at the mall. How many minutes does it take them to get to the mall? So this is when they leave. This is when they get there. We have to figure out how long it is in between those two times. So what time is this? 3.15. And we're looking at minutes here. Oops. So our minutes are going to be 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23. So this is 3, 23. And then it's almost 4, which is still 3 something. Right, so it's still, it looks like four something, but it's really almost four. So it's still, almost four is still three. And this is on the last minute before we get to four o'clock, which is 59. Since there's, takes 60 to go all the way around, one less is 59. So the time is going to be three. And now we have to figure out the difference between 359 and 323. And you can subtract these because they're, in, they're within the same hour. So all we have to do is subtract the minutes and find the difference in minutes. So 59 minus 23. And again, please do not do this. Do not write 359 and 323 because it doesn't work. And I'll show you exactly why right now, if you don't believe me. I know everybody, a lot of people will try this. And, and people just don't believe me until they see this. I'll show you. The minutes are, okay, so 9 minus 3, 6, 5 minus 2 is 3, and 3 minus 3 is 0. So that's the time of day is 0, 036. There is no time of day that's 0, 036. That's one reason why it doesn't work. There are many others. So don't write the time. We're subtracting minutes, and we can do that vertically. But don't write it as a time of day because it just it doesn't work. So it takes them, right? How many minutes does it take them to get to the mall? It takes them 36 minutes. So in this case, for our RDW, did we do everything? Yeah, we did because we read it. They already drew the picture for us. And we wrote, we could write an equation. Uh, this is kind of like, this is not really a number sentence. We could write it 59 minus 23. 23 equals 36. You can put that there. And here's our subtraction, how we showed it. There's not enough room here to really to draw a number line unless you try to if you wanted to do the number line trick, it really works for you, then you can do that. You don't have to do it this way. You could draw a sneak and a number line and down here at the bottom. It's going to be hard. Or what you can do is you could do it on the back of the first page if you have two pages, right? You have a blank page. Or if you have another piece of paper, you can just draw your number line on that piece of paper and do it that way. So if the number lines are working for you, then please use them. But it just won't fit right here, so you're going to have to use another piece of paper or the back of the first page if you, if you have uh, one-sided pages. Number six. Well, what time do we finish? This took me a long time, didn't it? Because actually I paused, I paused the video while I was making it because my computer ran out. The battery ran out, and I had to recharge enough to restart my computer. So this took me a while to finish. It's now 7... 
32. So this took me a lot longer than the video actually is. And 732 is going to look like in, it's, it's about halfway between 7 and 8, right? So that's a good place for the hour hand. That's the hour, right? That goes first. And 32 minutes, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. This is 30. 31, 32 minutes would be right here. So how many minutes did I work on these problems? You have room down here to draw a number line, if that's what you like to do. But the number line is going to be hard because I went over the 7 o'clock time. So number line is going to be difficult to use for this. And so is the, and so is subtracting. Because you, you've got, you went from 6 o'clock, I went from 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock. I couldn't finish in the same hour. So everything's going to be much more difficult. It's actually going to be easier to look around the clock and count around the clock face to see how long it took. Because, so from here, this was 54, right? So let me move this down a little bit. I'm going to change colors here so you can see everything. I'll use red. From here, 54 to 7 o'clock was 6 minutes. Right? It would have been from here, 54. That's before 55. So here, that was 6 minutes. And then all the way around to here, that's another half hour, right? That's 30 minutes. So now we can count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then we have to get to 32. So that's one, two, two. So we're just counting minutes going around the clock. I'm going to add six plus the 30 plus the two equals how many minutes? And so this is, we've got six and two, that's eight. And 30 plus eight is 38. It took 38 minutes. I hope it didn't take you that long. <laughs>